All right, so here's a quick example um, showing your use of cylindrical coordinates to solve a problem. Um, reasonably classic problem. Finding the formula for the volume of a right circular cone, radius capital R, height H. Um, I've done a bit of the setup ahead of time just to keep this video uh, a reasonable length. Um, so first of all, you know, you need to get we want to set this up as a cylindrical coordinate integral, so we need z as a function of r. So what we're doing here is saying, okay, well, you know, if, you, if you're at a certain height z, you know, what is the, what is the radius going out from, from the z-axis to the cone, right? What's the radius r? Because you can swing this around to generate that bit of the cone. Well, this bit of the triangle here is h minus z, right? From here to here is h minus z, because the whole height is h. This piece is z. And you have some similar triangles. So the ratio between r and h minus z is the same as the ratio between big R and h. And we can do some algebra. We can solve for z. OK. So now we know that the volume should be given by, well, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, right? We're going all the way around. R goes from 0 to capital R. Z goes from 0, right, xy plane, up to the, well, until we hit the cone. So, so Z, I mean, Z goes from 0 to H. But for a given point, right, if, if we're thinking about choosing a point on the disk and then looking at the range of Z values, Z starts here in the xy plane, and we go up until, until we hit the cone, right? Until we hit that point on the cone corresponding to that particular Z value. So Z goes from 0 to H minus H over R times R. And we're going to do R dZ dr d theta. OK. Um, I can actually do the theta integral right away, because there is no dependence on theta anywhere in this thing. So I have 2 pi integral from 0 to r. And well, here I'm going to get r squared, right? Well, sorry, the z first. Let's do the z first. Um, I get hr minus h r squared over big R dr. Okay? So what I did there is I've got that r that's already there. I'm doing the z integral. Upper minus lower just gives me h minus h r over big R. That whole thing gets multiplied by this r here, right? So h times r, this thing times r gets me to there. And now I integrate, which is not so bad. I get uh, 2 pi times, let's see, in the first one, 1 half h r squared. And in the second one, I have uh, h over 3 r times r cubed. And we're going to do that whole thing from 0 up to big R. So I have. Well, let's see. I have 2 pi times um, 1 half h big R squared minus 1 third h times big R squared. And so half minus a third is a sixth times 2 is a third. So I get 1 third pi R squared h which should look familiar for the formula um, giving the volume of a right circular cone of radius r and height h. OK, um, we're going to move on now. And we're going to do a couple more videos introducing spherical coordinates. And then we'll call it a day.